with the Empower. The amount of damage Magnus deals right now, it, it's pretty crazy. Like, I believe the yeah. build-up is you just rush an Echo Saber after maybe this Wraith Band. Uh, you'll go blink it, of course, somewhere after that. And it, even with just the Echo Saber, the damage you deal, it's so stupid. I think you, you normally we see the Harpoon build-up before the blink. I think that's the more... That's more of the norm, but that usually is like the off lane. Although, from the few safe lands I've seen, the Harpoon still comes out. It's just a priority for Tomato. I'm curious to see what he does. Feel like he needs, because if he is just going to be farming, be that big core, chances are you're probably not going to need the blink all too quick and you can afford to sit back and farm. And again, there's not enough laning pressure coming out from Felt to stop Magnus farming up. So, oh, I'm keen to see just how far Tomato can go with that and just how much Felt can apply some pressure here. So, we'll see. We shall see. I think, uh, for Felt, again, there are some combinations down the line. Level 6 on, interestingly enough, your supports are more important here. Like Mystic Flare, Track, it's going to be big in helping you establish this mid-game that you desperately need. But getting level 6 on your supports isn't that fast nowadays unless your lanes are stomping. That's true. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I don't it's, understand. I mean, it's pretty good, honestly. It's pretty spammable. And then this, like this SMG voice line, which is just a clip from a song, which is so high quality. It just throws you off. It's just, I'm it? so is confused. It, is it JJ Lin's song? Is that what it is? It must be. I would assume. Perhaps. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it for now, John. Of course, we're going to have a look at the mid lane where you're going to have Kits against Bryle. Uh, the Void Spirit versus Storm matchup. I mean, Void Spirit just doesn't feel like it loses a matchup at the moment, but I, th I think Kits should have a, a bit of an advantage going into this. Assuming he doesn't get caught out by a rogue Aether Remnant. Yeah, like, your level 3 for Storm feels a lot stronger, but a Void Spirit still has really damn good harassment back. A Resonant Pulse uh, harasses you from a decent enough range and blocks off your right-click harass. You're much more limited by your mana pool from kits as well. Like, you really rely on your Overload and Static Remnant. So as long as Brile doesn't put himself in a position to be Vortexed, and you're pretty fine with the matchup. I think the Void Spirit should be able to stand up to it. Rune Control is the bigger aspect in this matchup, really. And that's where Felt can shine a little bit more. Get a rotation potential from a Sky, from a Bounty. They can get things going if they're comfy enough to leave their side lanes. But they can. Of course, that bottom lane, Tomato and White Mod against Fade. And I believe it's sold you there. Uh, it's not an easy lane here for the Enigma. Like I said, like with the nerfs that were made to the Enigma over time, it just doesn't feel like a very good hero right now. And well, we'll see if it pays off here for the side of uh, side of Felt. Obviously, in terms of CS, you're still going to do just fine. But my issue with this is Tomato is going to have a great old time on the mag, and eventually you're going to start feeding Eidolons away as well. So that's not going to be very fun. I mean, you can't even walk up here on Soldier to get some harassment off. Again, White Mon just cuts him off, trades hits, doesn't mind too much, gives a lot of space out to Tomato to just keep farming. There's no pressure coming out from Fade. This is going to be a little bit of a concern if this maintains until, say, level 3, level 4. You've got to find some way to get some activity out of your lanes, else you have to at least get Soldier some levels up so he can do something elsewhere if he can't do anything in this lane. Absolutely, and of course, top lane... Kasane and Ari against Hidden Mune, and of course, Albino Zebra. Hidden Mune not having too bad of a time at all in the Naga Siren. Should have a pretty free laning stage for himself. See, Ari's trying to be as annoying as possible in the Clinks, but got a nice high armor here on the Naga Siren. Not struggling too much with the, the minus armor being provided by the Blood, the, uh, the Bright Blightstone. The other uh, Tar Bomb not doing too much against the Naga Siren at the moment. So he should be able to find the initial farm on the Naga. I think the main concern is, can he keep up the farm as the game goes on? Because even as the Naga, I think you are going to fall behind this POS1 Magnus. Yeah, I mean, it really depends on how it comes out in lanes. I feel like a Naga is one of the few heroes that can probably be more efficient on a map just by virtue of the illusions. But that's assuming, you no, know, equal itemization, equal farm for the most part. And for the most part, that's what we're seeing coming out from these lanes. Like... Burna's not really being slowed down too much. Tomato does, again, have free farm, 
but to an extent, Berna does as well, although he is starting to comp it in the harassment here. Well, that he is. Kasane, though, popping it as well. Albino Zebra trying to move in for a concussive shot, perhaps, but never gets it off. Could go for it now. and does throw one out, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough damage yet from Albino. He's trying to find a, a way to kick off Kasane, but here comes Ari from the back. It'll force Hit Immune and Albino Zebra back a little bit. Of course, Albino Zebra, not quite as tanky as the Naga Siren, does not really enjoy the uh, the damage output of Ari's Clinks at the moment. So obviously a, a zero base armor hero as a Skyrath Mage, not gonna not gonna do too well against Clinks. No, but you do have the move speed to run away early on. So it's not easy for Ari to just stick onto that target as well, get harassment off. So far, a rather even start in the lanes, at the very least in terms of farm outside of the Enigma lane, which is as to be expected here for Fade. I think overall, you're happy on Falk. You're not dropping anything early on. The Broodmother is still manageable. It's rather interesting to see that Kasane is going for the Phylactery on the Broodmother. That's an interesting build. Uh, activating it with a Silken Bola, activating it with a Spawn Spiderlings. Considering like your spell cooldowns, it's pretty high uptime on getting that phylactery off every time i do like it like you're gonna pretty much get it every spell kasane though he's going for a bit of a fight here that's not gonna pan out in his favor he's oh. gone albino zebra able to secure first blood is now bottom lane they are at least gonna find solji but they miss out on the first blood opportunity here tsm and i think uh if you are felt you're gonna be very happy with this trade Maybe a little bit of a mistake coming out from Kasane going really aggressive on our Naga. Again, she can fight back with mirror images with a Riptide. Uh, Broodmother can't just self-sustain through level 1 Insatiable fully just yet. And they find some good punishment. And you, you can't do Kits. too much in the Clinks here. Weakness of that lane. Kits is in trouble. This is a lot of damage flying out from Brawl. And Kits has not hit level 6 yet. He is gone. The Fade Bolt from White Mon going to secure the kill here for TSM. Very nice timing from Brawl as well, just calling his supports over as he has out, out leveled the storm. Oh, Knowing that he just did not have the uh, the zip available, he just could not do anything to get out. With a power rune, looking for that opportunity down south. Veda is pretty close to his tier one, understanding they had a they had vision on that rune, immediate D ward as well. And they get the scan off just to be extra sure. So Ryle, Wasting a little bit of time does give some room for Kits down mid, and Kits does hit his level 6. This Falcon Blade flying out, so he's gonna have a few more tools under his belt to kinda face up against Bryle. That same play gonna be a lot harder to pull off with a ball lightning up. Oh, or maybe lane. not. Jump in again, Kits is being targeted another time, but he's gonna be able to ball lightning away. Still the actual step! Oh, it did land! But he couldn't get the magical damage in as Kits does avoid it with the ball lightning. They are really trying to focus on this midstorm though and not give him a good chance of making a comeback throughout this game. Still, he is level 6 now, so he should be relatively safe. Uh, I'm surprised they got as much damage as they did onto Kits, connecting their spells really well, applying some good pressure onto the storm. And they are still posturing around for the 8 minute rune as well, so with Invis down, potential for haste, double damage, Illusion probably less useful, Shield rune maybe a little bit more useful. So, again, room control is the big part. And you you do have Albino Zebra around, at the very least. He can threaten if you get a good rune here, play with the Ancient Seal. Could be one way to start ramping up these kills, but they're already applying significant pressure down mid. And you do have the Clinks. It doesn't take too long to melt towers, even at level 4. It really doesn't. Albino is going to move in with a concussive shot, but it's not going to do too much. And now the power rune as well. Spawning down bottom, but Brawl misses out. A soldier is able to pick it up. Aether Remnant doesn't land, but they should still have the kill. White Mon again somehow securing the kill of the Rubik. <laughs> Brawl probably a little bit annoyed about that, but nevertheless, they do punish Soldier for taking the power rune away. And Brawl, he seems more than happy to just keep farming the mid lane. He, he doesn't seem like he wants to move. I mean, that, that, I think that's a perfectly fine position. Your side lanes can maintain equilibrium. You're starting to pull ahead in your Broodmother versus the Naga. You've got a free lane for Tomato, so you don't really need to help bot. Ari does make the move. And he does. Fade. 
Uh, he's trying to fight back here with the Eidolons, but there's not really much in the way of fighting back as Tomato's going to go for the skewer to close the gap. And eventually, Ahri going to pick up the kills. So all the supports fighting all the kills here for TSM. It's Kasane now, going to be hunted down by Albino Zebra and Hidden Mute. Nice little one slayer there from Hidden Mute as Kits is going to jump in. Kasane, he's trying to fight back. He actually finds Albino Zebra, but he will drop in the process. And well, Hidden Mute, he will be able to secure the kill on the Naga. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice kill to find here on the side of Felt. Uh, you needed some aggression to come out into the, onto the Brood. I don't think Kasana minds too much. Again, it drags quite a few heroes up top, opening up space down bot, opening opening up mid for Brawl to just basically free farm and gun for a free tower. They're just gonna go for it again with Ari. And there's really no one to stop this. Solji, he showed himself mid lane, trying to go for a Janana strike on Brawl, and he's gone. Jeez. He put the hand up confidently thinking he was out, but Brawl just guesses where he goes. It wasn't really that hard, but now he's out of mana. Maybe they can take this man down. Bryle in big, big trouble. Still walking away Ooh, though. He's gonna fight back. Kits is in trouble now. He's gone. Oh, I can't believe it. They just casually turn around with no oh, matter of no. Bryle. It's Albino Zebra giving his life away to deny the rune off and Wymon wouldn't even let him have that. Wymon denies it himself. Yeah, really good blocks <laughs> coming out from Whitemon. I mean, the power move, right? You see the support, go for the deny, you're like, all right, you're not denying it, I am. Then you take his life. Like, and White Mind's just, uh, he's feeling himself a little bit here. Really unfortunate for Kits in that last movement out. Waste, using all his mana for that initial zip, just not enough in the tank. Like the stolen concussive shot, slowing them down in that jump. Grouping up for Tomato, though. Yeah, tomato, oh? high skill back, RP committed as well, but he just wants to walk away from this. And he will be able to do so. They don't want to dive too far down this bottom lane. Ari has rotated as well on the clink, so he's kind of ready to fight back though. A nice sentry ward placement there onto Ari. Gonna ensure they actually know he's there, but the problem is they don't catch him out. And now TSM have grouped up, so they're gonna move in onto Fade. Fade just caught out. Doesn't really feel like he can black hole though. He thought about it, but does go down before he could. And now felt they are just forced to walk away. The only positive here being they got the bottom tier one tower, but that was really it. Yeah. Got the night off as well by Ari, so you don't get the gold while they clear out top on TSM. So you're finding every win on the map so far for the side of TSM. And for Felt, again, it's going to take a little bit of a ramp up at this point. You've got Nago who's going to need to farm up. You've got an Enigma who is pretty close to the guard Greaves at the very least. They are still being aggressive here. Jeez. Albino Zebra dropping very, very quickly. The Black Hole committed. They have found Brile, and with the zip in from Kits, they should have their way with him. Brile getting tipped here by Albino. And rightfully so. It was a pretty deep dive in. Now, Brile, I don't think he'll mind too much, though, to be fair. He's not going to I mean, it's a long cooldown to commit onto the Void Spirit. Again, you're getting free space elsewhere. Kasane is starting to ramp up now on that Broodmutter going for the full pipe of Insight. I have to say this Phylactery, it's pretty insane. You're guaranteed to always have the Phylactery no matter what level your spawn spiderlings are. Like you cast that spell, you get free slow, you get more nuke damage. It's pretty overwhelming and kind of enabling a fighting Broodmutter as Solji. Yeah, just gone. I mean, he could try to use Shadow Work. No, it's on cooldown for 10 seconds, no chance. In comes Kasane now. It's a lot of slow from that Silken Bowler and well, Albino Zebra. I mean, it's the classic Skyrath first Broodmother experience. You get caught by the Silken Bowler, you are as good as dead. There is no escaping that. You, you just get so slowed by this damn phylactery. This is this is great from Kasane. I'm loving this tech coming out from them. For Felt. And this is space for Berna, at the least, although he is spotted out, but we'll TP in the nick of time, so not in danger there. But the map space taken by TSM is quite huge. Tomato went for disassembly play on his Mask of Madness, has the Echo Saber up into that Harpoon we were talking about. So he's, he's set to meet all his timings. I mean, you've got Track Cop on Soldier. The Smokewood Track Cop. Interesting. And the immediately broken smoke. Interesting from White Mon. Probably just didn't realize. 
Faye doesn't realize that Ari's around here, by the way, John Fade. Or maybe he does, because he is trying to run towards the Twin Gates at the moment. Decides better of it. Probably has an idea that Ari is stalking him. Is going to go for the attempt, but no. There's White One <laughs> showing up, holding onto the lift, just in case Fade wants to go. Uh, uh, lift away from White One. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. <laughs> it won't matter. I think White One's just, uh, just trolling a little bit. Oh, top. It's top lane. Kasane does end up going down, so I felt... They are able to group up and they get themselves a, a really nice kill here into the Broodmother. That's a big one. That's a big one to find. You've been giving a lot of space out to Kasane. You get some good punishment. That's a track kill as well, though. Solji is going to pay with his life, but overall, it's still a worthwhile trade for Felt to find. I'm honestly, I feel like White Bond's maybe feeling himself a little bit too much, Mike. You know, this is bringing back yeah. old vibes of White Bond when he'd twack Roshan at minute zero for luck. <laughs> this is basically White Mon of old. He's back in action. I miss those days. I do miss those days. Yeah. I mean, it's probably like he's probably excited because he gets to play Rubik for once. I could have sworn <laughs> Ari would just be playing it, but not the case. Ari wanted the clinks this time around. It's now Tomato is handing over tips to, to Kasane for some apparent reason. Speaking of Tomato, John, he did go for the Harpoon build up. So, Harpoon straight into the blink, it seems. Blink Satanic. That is, a, that is a wild build. Oh, look at no, the damage actually, he's got. Yeah, the damage is great. The dispel is really useful anyway. You know, you don't want to go BKB. You might as well get this dispel. Hit him mute. Nice song. Be able to get away. In comes Tomato. He'll at least find himself out by no zebra, and Ari again will take it. I mean, why not? I, I think it's fine, like the satanic build up. Like, you mentioned the dispel, but. It's just, once he has it, I don't think he can actually die. As no. long as he can hit people. Yeah, he's definitely not going to be pincer down. You'd have to literally drop Vortex, Ancient Seal at the same time, with maybe the net fall through just to ensure the kill along with Mystic Flare. Literally everything outside of Black Hole, just to lock in that Magnus. And if one part of that combo is broken, then the Magnus can still run free. And TSM, 15 to 4, 7k lead. Looking like a very smooth game one for them. We still have to see how much Burna can do on the Naga. Manta up, heart next. You start to reach that breaking point in that hero, but you've lost a lot of map space to make this happen. You've sacrificed a lot of your mid and off lanes farm to enable Naga. And it still feels like the investment might, might not be fully worthwhile, though they will smoke gang down. Tomato. Yeah, they have found a pretty big fish for themselves. Tomato has been caught out, and with the Mystic Flare, there is no escape for the man. He is gone. They are still taking down the mid tier 2 tower in the meantime, so there is still some very good value for TSM, but for now, Tomato is officially behind Hidden Muni in terms of their worth, and well, I suppose he already has been. So the Naga Siren slowly but surely taking over, as now they're going to jump in mid lane, but Solji's already been caught out. Solji is gone. Radiance bottom tower under attack. I, I guess it's just kind of the thing, like, you find Tomato, but you've still got so much to worry about, as <laughs> oh Kasane is just jumping in by himself. Albino Zebra is just dead. And Kasane, well, he's pretty deep. He should be going down here. And eventually he will. <laughs> but I think Kasane is just having a lot of fun for with himself. And he's really enjoying the Broodmother. I can't fault him. Like, the phylactery build does make this here really really funny as they find more. I mean, why not? Faye just gets exploded here by Bryle. Tips out from Albino Zebra. He's tipping his own team now. <laughs> Nothing going really that right for, for Phil, but you got to give these guys props. Like, 17 and a half minutes in, it's not a complete stomp here by TSM. I mean, it is 8k net worth lead for themselves, but you've still got a lot of hope here for Phil, especially considering Hidden Mute is at the top of the net worth pool. Yeah, I mean, Burn is really close to that heart. So this is where we really have to see TSM kind of coordinate to deal with that Naga issue and try to find a solution to burning down those illusions, which should be down to Tomato whenever he's ready to join in, probably on that blink timing. Although it looks like he's maybe just rushing the heart first. He is. Not even a blink coming out from Magus. Wants the full Satanic first. And I can't fault him. Again, it doesn't feel like the blink RP, blink... Skewer backs fully necessary here, so just go for the stats. Universal hero type, just rush these strength items. 
rotation from TSM. Down towards the bottom lane, they might find a hidden mute here in the Naga. His illusion can they expire. Hidden mute. Oh, they're running right towards him. Brile gonna see him now with the observer ward. Hidden mute still not aware they're coming. He does have song available, so he can try to pop that to escape, but he's not getting a chance. So the RP's committed as well, but no, he does get the song off. Oh, he still gets it off. I can't believe that. Well, what happened to the RP? Kasane? Mid lane. Kasane still alive somehow, but eventually will go down. Sprawl has rotated. You would at least find fate as a trade. Hit him in the meantime. He has picked up the full heart of the Tarask now, so he might want to go fight. Woods there up Bryle, who's in pretty big danger Ooh. at the moment. Bryle, he'll somehow get away from this. The Glimmer keep giving him the time. He's still alive, but the track is giving Ooh. the vision as Bryle with the Shuriken Toss. It's going to get the kill. Bryle is down. But now they've got the Naga Siren. This time, Hidemute has no song available, but he's just manning up. He's just fighting back. Wymon's down. This Tomato is still chasing. Harpoon. They'll find Solji. But they seem to be having great difficulty dealing with Hidemute. That was a little bit strange on the RP. I swear it connected. Maybe. Yeah. Was, it was just that a bad to dodge? I no, I I don't believe so, but perhaps I, it did. They did stun stack. I believe they already got the control on the Naga first, but perhaps it was a dodge out from Berna. I mean, it's it's a three second stun at level two reverse polarity, so you you kind of that did not feel like three seconds. I'll tell you, that it's, didn't uh... quite. <laughs> anyway, unless we have replay, John, we won't be able to see what happens. So moving on. Tormentor, gonna to be taken out here by TSM as Whitemon might actually die to this. No, he's all right, he'll survive. The tomato uh, wasn't stopping anyway, he's not wasting any time. Like no. you die, you die. Not my problem. Pretty much. Just, uh, nah, no cares in the world. Whitemon as well, probably no cares in the world. We'll have to go for a reset. 21 to nine. We are seeing that investment into Burna pay off quite nicely for the side of Felt. And for TSM, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but you're seeing openings now for Felt. This is where it gets a little bit scary if they drop any further fights. They will go for a smoke play once more. And it looks like their target might just be Roshan. No other heroes down bot. They can clear Rosh really fast with Ari around with that full solar crest up. Should be able to get this done. For now, Felt. Not, not able to pick off Kasane top lane. TSM, they are going to indeed start Roshan, it seems. And the thing is, Felt were right by the Twin Gates. They could have gone through and tried to force a fight, but I don't think they quite realize that Roshan is happening. Roshan going the way of TSM for free right now. And sadly for Felt, they just have no idea that Roshan could be taken away from them. Because you are in a position where you could fight this pretty easily as felt. They've got the song, they've got the black hole, they've got everything available, but now they're lacking an Aegis that has been provided to Tomato. Tomato. He does have the full Satanic looking to buy the blink up in about 200 gold. Meanwhile, felt they might lose their Tormentor rather soon. Tomato will reveal himself with those Eidolons be taken out. And it is indeed Torment. So I'll just take this one away from the Dyer. Oh, nice and quick. Another free shard coming out for White Mon. It's even more utility with that lift back. Full blink up for Tomato now as well. You've got a lot of options on finding your angle in these fights from the side of TSM. So you will just gun down another tier 2 tower. The side of Felt, not, not in a position to defend. Again, they've got some tools, Song, Black Hole already. We've got a lot of output right now in kits with a full Falcon Witchblade along with Akaya. They won't take the risk. They farm while they can. Pressure will come onto the high ground sooner rather than later with his Aegis up and running, though. And that is where that is where Felt has to shine. And again, they've got a lot of AoE. They can force a lot of issues on the high ground. If TSM don't respect that, that's where that's where this game can suddenly flip on a just flip around entirely, although 
Yeah, poor old soldier getting the uh, the clinks experience down a bot. He's just going to die completely solo. As now Brawl has found out by no zebra. Mystic Flare will be thrown out, but the pipe was out from Kasane, so no damage really dealt here. Got the uh, the Greaves up anyway if they need the healers. Tier 3 mid tower is now under siege here by TSM. Not much in the way of a defense coming out as they are lacking both their supports on the side of Pelt. Waimon's now handing out tips to Solji. So they are looking to just finish off the mid tier one, uh, rather mid tier three in the racks. And it seems that they will stick around maybe for a little bit more here for TSM. But both supports are respawning now, so they might take it easy. Though I say that, kids, he's going to make the jump in on Ari. Ari does have help around the corner. Prowl's going to make the jump in. Now the Harpoon out onto <laughs> Kits, but he's going to juke out the skewer. Problem is, he's out of mana. He's using his bottle charges right now to be able to give him a chance out of this. He would juke out the Aether Remnant, but Brawl is still chasing him down. So is Tomato now. They blink right forward. Kits is in huge trouble. No mana available. He's going to try and fight back, but he is gone. Zari almost going down as well, but he's going to be brought right back into the arms of Tomato. And Waimon will take him out. It just keeps getting worse. It's just rough. Like, they're dropping one by one to the side of TSM on the hunt. Good news is that you've got the full butterfly on Burna. So your Nagus arm hits like a truck right now. Oh, RP committed. Oh. Albino Zebra going to be dragged back here by Tomato, who's just having none of it. He doesn't care if it's a single RP onto a plus five. He's committing. No, Albino running away. And Kasane was unable to finish the job. In fact, now... Hit Immune moving in with the ensnare. Tomato, he's out with the skewer Ooh. back onto Hit Immune now, but Hit Immune still has a song available. He even has the heart and butterfly up, so he's a very tanky target. On blink up black hole. I mean, they might just have Ooh. to. When is this black hole ever going to come out? Fate is still holding out. Tomato, he still has the Aegis up, so he's still feeling pretty damn good as Brawl's going to be targeted, but he has the Dissimilate to be able to pack his way out. Still not going. Still waiting for the perfect moment is Fade. Hit Immune, maybe trying to bait the team. Brawl's gonna jump in, but they are being very cautious to remain split off. It's Hit Immune, no song available, does have to play this very carefully. Tomato, jump in again. Gonna find Solji. And they'll have the dust available. That'll be Solji down. Not the biggest kill to lose out on. For fault, but some opportunities there that Fade just isn't taking. I guess, you know, respecting the fact that TSM, they do have a Rubik, they've got the spell steal, it can go south really fast if you don't manage to catch the Rubik in the black hole. They are actually stalling out the duration of this age as well, though. Uh, skewering back some illusions, Tomato. Not too much time left in that age, just 20 seconds away. So, all things considered, for Felt, they're holding out. Like, once Aegis expires, you're in a risky spot for Tomato. These illusions from the Naga, they are hitting hard. And you're not hitting back. That evasion is causing issues for our Magnus. Full MKB has to come out if you want to sustain these fights. Yeah, so I mean... He's going to farm it up now. Not going to rush the game at all, TSM. They'll play it seriously. Now, they're still 13k ahead, and while... While Hidden Muni is farming well, he's really the only person on Felt that's farming well. Nobody else is even close to the, the net worth of the Naga Siren has. We saw last fight as well, like, a lot of hesitation from Fade to pop Black Hole. I mean, he has a setup with the Blink. But I, I suppose you've always got to be careful against White Mon's Rubik, like... You don't want to give that damn ability away. So unless he can catch White Mon, he will not pop it. Which really just... It makes the hero very boring to play when you're up against the Rubik. Yeah, it just never feels good. You can't just go in for these big plays. Again, just down to this very early Enigma pick with no Rubik ban. It is somewhat to be expected. TSM going for a smoke play. They've got a good idea as to where the side of Felt's playing up top. Yeah, they'll head up towards the top lane. Albino Zebra might be the first one to get caught here as Brawl is going to see him. Meanwhile, RP also committed onto the Storm and Kits. He gets lifted up and he's got no chance of survival. 
Albino does make his way out for now, though Brawl is having a look around, but he is not going to look the right way. So we'll not be able to cancel the TP. Instead, Solji reveals himself for a Janata strike, and uh, I'm not really sure what the point of that was, but now Track's been given to Whitemon as well. There you go. Just more to go away for TSM if they manage to find these picks. Brawl playing a bit far forward. Yeah, nice black hole from Fade. Brawl gonna get punished immediately, but he's not using another spell. So Wymon, he takes the black hole. Oh, he had no spells off cooldown. He used everything. Ari now on a godlike spree on the clinks. 10 0 and 13. Pretty damn insane. And now if you're filled, you, you feel so much more afraid. Like, there's a black hole available on Whitemon. He'll just throw it out whenever the hell he wants. He doesn't care if it's cancelled. It, it's just... Yeah. It's so tough. Yeah, it's really scary. You've got the blink for Whitemon now, so... He's going to basically be a better Enigma. You've got the full MKB up and running for Tomato. Naga Illusion should be as big of an issue. Although... He hit him in. Go for a bit of a check onto Kasane. Zip is there. Black Hole committed. Uh, Wymon not messing around. It is going to be cancelled off though. And now the Mystic Flare is out to kill off the Rubik though. He's still alive. The Guardian Greaves keeping him up. Wymon will finally go down. But Kids needs to back out of there. He's dropping way too low to the damage of Tomato. He's hit immune. He'll pop the song to try and escape himself. But the chase is on. They really want a chance at this Naga Siren. But they can't get close enough. Still the T3 top tower. Going to be under siege now. It's TSM. Knowing the song is down, feel comfortable to just move in like this, though. Hidden Mute going to casually walk in. Tomato threatening with the RP. Will commit it eventually. Fade is in as well, but he's got no black hole. The Enigma really can't do too much. He'll stick around. Ari, in the meantime, he does go down, but now Tomato, he's your big problem. He'll just man up and the Naga's gone. Oh, boy. I mean, you can buy back if you really want to as the Naga. And you kind of have to at this stage. They're diving your tier 4 towers, but he's not doing so. Are they just going to call it? I think they might, John. Surely. I mean, surely you buy back here. The Rampage first? Rampage is go. given. Rampage is provided. Kasane picking one up. Maybe they can pick him off. And they will. Tomato skewer back on the mag. He might go down. He's still trying to fight back, but he will lose the uh, his life as as kids will just keep going. Brian now trying to man up against everyone. Does take down Albino Zebra. He's actually going right up against kids as well. Zip in from White Mon. Why the hell not? Buy back from Albino Zebra. Kids, kids is gonna drop. Kids should go down, or rather, Brian should go down now. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll just walk away. And he will. Yeah. Huh. What is happening? Right. Uh, TSM, they, they got a little bit excited. They got a rampage, you know, they're feeling themselves and they kind of dive a little bit too far. Some good punishment coming out from the side of Felt. But, all things considered, they don't lose too much. Their top racks are intact. TSM maybe feeling themselves way too much. That is some good punishment. Although Ari, uh, detection this time. Doesn't manage to nail that. Unfortunate. Mm. I mean, props to, props to Hidden Mutant during that, uh, that, that dive. Like, he did not buy back at all. I mean, maybe he just kind of gave the idea away that he doesn't have it. So TSM maybe assuming he just didn't have buyback available, but... A lot of patience from the man to not click that buyback button. Yeah. It, it pays off. He gets to hold oh. on to that, although he loses the basher. Yikes. That he bought out. So that's, that's a pretty big snipe from Ari, which the Clinks does excel at. He, he was trying to get the uh, the full Abyssal Blade. <laughs> that's actually, that is actually pretty cool, like, that SMB voice line. Sounds quite I'm nice. I'm telling you, it's so confusing. It just it feels like a nice. pop-up ad. It does sound nice, but it's just so out of place. Listen to everyone else's voice lines. They're just, the, like, audio quality-wise, the mixing is just not not high bitrate. Then suddenly this pops, and you're like, I'm not playing music like this. Oh, well, I, I guess the me. other teams should just be owned by a professional singer-songwriter. You know? Not that yeah. hard. Yeah, that's it.
That's all you need. Or literally just any other microphone besides your headset mic, guys. You can do better. That's that's too much, Tom. You can't expect that from the pros. Very unreasonable uh, of you, John. That's fair, Mike. I understand. Understandable. TSM. Looking to move in through the bottom lane. Mind you, they did not get the top racks yet. They only found the tier 3 tower, so... So they just wanted to get started on the bottom tier 3 tower and maybe check if the Torment is still available, but it's not. That was already taken out. Bri, all the double damage, would love to start a fight right now, but looks like he wants to farm up the, the full Sacred Relic to have the Nullifier before he does go for a big team fight. Speaking of Nullifiers, Ari has one now on the Clint's. Let's see a three bottom yeah. tower. It's not going to last too long. They'll just let the skeletons do the work, and they do the work pretty easily. Your standard support clinks gameplay. Full ags up and running on fade. He's got that upgraded black hole with a pull. That's going to be a difference maker if he does manage to find the angle. He has to and find the black hole. Yeah, but you've also got the Ags up, so a mini black hole in hand as well. Jump in, hit immune. Already losing about half his HP pool. Doesn't really want to pop song right now. We'll hold off. Tomato just casually taking the, the top bottom racks though. They need to go in very, very soon as Albino Zebra has already been picked off. That's a dieback on the white one, or rather the Skyrath is now the RP is there. They've lost Soldier, they've lost Fade. Ryle and Tomato setting up perfectly as Hidden Immune pops the song. But just needs to TP out. No buybacks on any of those heroes going down. TSM looking to move in for the finish. And it's going to be no problems for them. Right onto the edge they go. I think Phil just have no way of really trying to defend. As GG will play, it's going to be caught by Albino. That'll be TSM taking game number one in about 36 minutes. Yeah, it's a pretty convincing win coming out from TSM.